fact, for 51 years, there has been a wonderful event takes place here in the Santa Clarita Valley. And this year, the 51st annual premier volunteer recognition, of, uh, recognition event, the 2016 Santa Clarita Valley Man and Woman of the Year dinner is being held 6 p.m. Friday, May 6th at the Hyatt Valencia. Now, the reason they do this is to honor men and women who've given outstanding volunteer service to the Santa Clarita Valley. And in the studio with me at the moment, I happen to have a gentleman who's been nominated by the Wish Foundation. He has been in our valley for a number of years. So along with him from the Wish Foundation, I have Amy Daniels and I have Ed Masterson. Hello to both of you and welcome. Hello, Teresa. How Thank are you? you? I am fine. The only person besides my family who calls me by my first name, but I love that. Thank you for doing you that. didn't want to be too familiar. No, I know that. T is the yeah. appropriate yeah. Uh, salutation. Ed Masterson's been in this valley since 1988 with his family. He moved to the valley while working as a tour guide for Universal studios moved on to production coordinator for network television shows and most people know him here in the Santa Clarita Valley because he has had more than his share of turns as a master of ceremonies for a number of SCV events daytime jobs have included key account manager for Golden West canine security director of public relations for loose goose wine festival and field representative for assemblyman Cameron Smythe now Amy You've nominated Ed Masterson for as a SCV uh, Man of the Year, uh, which is an incredible honor, uh, again, just to be nominated. And I'd love to hear a little bit of your opinion of the fellow sitting across from you. I'm sorry, Ed who? <laughs> <laughs> Ed is Mr. Santa Clarita. He is the nicest guy in this entire valley. He's the most... Uh, 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 amazing gentleman. I mean, I, I could go down the list of a hundred million things that Ed does for this valley, but oh, oh, Ed's saying, he's do it. He's, you know, shake, I'm <laughs> he's shaking his head. He is very I'm humble. So and his hair. Come on. Who doesn't love oh, Ed's hair? Very funny. The Ed hair deserves a separate nomination. It does. It does. I think it does. You know, this is the second year that we're nominating Ed, and he's fantastic. He sits on our board, and, and he sits there quietly until he doesn't, and every single word that comes out of his mouth is so uh, respected, and it's valuable. So he is such a great guy. Everybody in the entire community knows Ed, and everyone has respect for him. He deserves this. You've, you've. I say to everyone, if you want something done, you ask a busy person. You have done. A, you are. It does seem like you're everywhere. I think you're triplets, because <laughs> you're one side of the valley doing one thing, and then suddenly, nope, he's over there. He's doing something else. You've done a number of things, and and you are. I love that you have a very good sense of humor about it, and you'll you'll take the tea but a founding board member of, of WISH. You are a significant contributing member. Everyone who's there has said so. You know this community. You've been here for, for a very long time. You were liaison for the Holocaust Memorial Project, connecting survivors with local high, high school students for interview sessions that were submitted to state archives. That's an amazing uh, project you were involved with. When Cameron Smythe ended his stint in the assembly, you became CEO of the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce. You've lobbied on behalf of our community in Washington, no easy feat, and as chairman of the board for the chamber, and then the uh, successful in leading a community delegation which helped acquire government funding in excess of three million dollars, and I know you work in sales and marketing for SOS Entertainment. When do you when, do you I, do you sit at home and say what's the next thing I can possibly get my hands on to, to just not sleep at night be busy? No, but let me just say this real quick, T. I love this new location for the radio station. You know why? One of my favorite films of all time is Gross Point Blank with John Cusack and Minnie Driver. You ever seen yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this reminds me of a scene from Gross Point Blank because people can walk by, look in the window, and see you on the Every air, day. which is super cool. Anyway, sorry, didn't mean to. Uh, That's a squirrel. Throw <laughs> That's how you put on so many hats because you have that ability to go from, from one to the next. You you do an awful lot. Where does your volunteer, where does that come from, that drive? Uh, I don't know. It's just fun. You know, like everything we do in Santa Clarita has an element of fun to it. I've never been asked to help out with something in Santa Clarita since I've been working in the community that 
isn't fun. Even the things that are sort of, you know, perceived on paper to be laborious, like trying to get uh, measures off the ground to get funding for things and stuff like that, it, it still has an element of fun because of all the people that live in Santa Clarita that have such great attitudes, and they just kind of give of themselves as evidenced by, you know, this fantastic collection of people they have nominated for this event. But there's a million people in Santa Clarita that never get nominated for a Man and Woman of the Year that still do phenomenal things that they deserve to be nominated for. So it's, it's a fun community. Everybody's great. What is what are some of the things you love most about the Santa Cruz Valley? Because you continue to tirelessly serve, and you continue to, to not just from a volunteer standpoint, but because you are the guy often behind the microphone, helping lead other organizations to do what they do to raise funds, whether you are on their boards or not. What 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 is your favorite part of of some of that? Um, a lot of that reminds me of my dad, <clears throat> which you, you didn't know my dad, of course, but he passed away a long time ago. But the thing that my dad I guess accidentally instilled in me was to just, if people ask you for help, probably they need help. So just do it with kind of a happy heart and, and whatever. The thing I love about Santa Cruz to answer your question, instead of going squirrel on you again, is that the, there are so many people in the Valley that have so many different talents and skills and they all kind of just throw them into the pot together. And just by, I guess, luck or by good fortune, these events and these organizations that get benefited get benefited because everybody has some specialty or some skill and you know what I may or may not be good at somebody else has that really well so that's what I like about it is this kind of melting pot thing of contributors where they just throw their skills into the pot and it all kind of works out most of the time now in addition to being a pillar of the community and someone for people to look look up to your children what do they think about dad being as involved as he is with everything that he does? And are, do you think they'll be following in your footsteps since you think of your dad when you do what you do? Yeah, our kids are both great. I have a son who's 19. He's in college. My daughter's 15. She's a sophomore over at Hart High School. And they are, they're good citizens also. They're, they're kind-hearted and they're generous and they think of other people before themselves and all the stuff that my wife and I have tried to teach them over the years. I don't know that they really look at anything I do as being that important because, I mean, I think it's not always that important. Thank you for calling me a pillar of the community. That's very funny. But um, I don't think they look at it that way because it's never, we don't ever, like, talk about it in terms where it would seem so important you know we're just kind of doing the things we do every day so i don't know could you imagine a santa clarita without volunteers no not even that's that's the thing that makes santa clarita i think so sought after by nonprofit organizations that look at how generous santa clarita is and they look at how connected the community is and this fabric and this networking and strength that supports all these various groups out here and and that's why they come here to santa clarita and i think that's what makes us kind of unique I think it's just a really fun, connected, generous town, and I'm that opinion is is borne out every single day when I do stuff with my regular job because people are just kind and nice and supportive, and that's a great town that we live in. Amy, you nominate the Wish Foundation nominated uh, Ed for this nominee for the SCV Man of the Year. Is has he been one of your favorite volunteers partly because of his humor and humility? Because they he's seem just, to go hand in hand. He's fantastic. I, I truly do say he's the nicest guy in Santa Clarita. But but look, Ed's right. There are a lot of people, a lot of amazing people in this valley that do a lot of things around here. But it really is all about character. And Ed has embodied the character of of a Man of the Year forever. He really has. And I don't think you have to be nominated for 16 years in a row to win it. I think he deserves it right now. He really does for everything he's given back and the kind of guy he is. Honestly, you are. You're one of the people that uh, others should look up to because of the, the work that you do. And you don't just do it tirelessly. You do it with a sense of humor. And you, you do bring a lot of, of humble to the table. Mm -hmm. But when your sleeves are rolled up, you are one of the hardest working men the Valley knows. And so congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. And regardless of what happens, I think you are uh, absolutely a beacon for the community for other people to look up to to become you know, even a portion of, of what you are and what you do for the community. Again, the 51st Annual Premier Volunteer Recognition Event, the SCV Man and Woman of the Year, taking place May 6th, 6 p.m. at the Hyatt Valencia. If you'd like to learn more, you can go to the website, scvmw.org. And again, congratulations. Thank you both for stopping by. Thank, Thank you. you.